Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to Lloyd Brown Music and this episode of Plugin of the Week is quite a special one because it relates to a plugin that is 20 years old and I've not seen many people feature this plugin and the next reason is that this plugin is specifically aimed at songwriters and instrumentalists that need to you know keep up their practice. Um, there's been many videos of plugins for beat makers and effects plugins and the like, and I've done quite a few. But this plugin bundle, I've really felt the need to feature because I've not seen many people feature this standalone plugin, I may say, on their channel. And it needs exposure and it needs to be highlighted and showcased. So I'm going to do that for you right now. Brown plugin of the week. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the laboratory, welcoming you to the application, the plugin, the standalone that is Chord Pulse. I still can't believe that I have not seen this plugin in its full 20 years of existence. And I'm so stoked to have come across it. And I'm even more stoked to share this plugin with you all. Let's just go into the interface real quick top left hand side you see all of these options right here so if I click on file it gives me the option to create a new project open samples and then on doing so it will give me all of the available presets which is what they are more or less I don't know why they call it samples but that's, that's what they are all right so these are the samples stroke presets that are available to you. So I won't open them up. Recent files, save, save as. You've got the option to export to MIDI file as well, which is a great, great addition to the application because if you look at the bottom here, you have drums, bass, and chord volume setting. And this is one of the differences that this plugin application has that Easy Key doesn't it has drums and bass built in. And if you want cooked in the demo or the arrangement that you wish to create, you can export all of those to MIDI file. Also, you can export chords to text file. Session notes, which you click on that, and that will give you a notepad to write all of your notes for that particular session, which I think is great. Session file links. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what this is and I'm not gonna profess like I know what I'm talking about when I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna leave this one side, thank you very much. Global Notes, which is more or less um, a notepad for the entire plugin application itself, which is great also. Awesome, awesome. You know what I mean? So I don't have to go anywhere, you know? I don't have to go into no separate, um, application to be doing all of that crap it's all in here which is great all right so that's that so let's go into the edit drop down menu so it's undo history preset chord progressions click on here you got all of the preset chord progressions available to you and you have the ability to add to the page replace the page which is great I can't believe I have not come across this plugin in the last 20 years. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally slapping myself in the forehead as we speak. Um, transpose, which we can more or less do manually in the interface itself. Clear page, um, which you can do. Select all chords on page, but it also show you, shows you the hotkeys as well. So that's a good thing to learn. Clear page sequence. Edit page sequence as text. Let's have a look here. So I think it gives you the option to name the page sequence, which is cool. It's cool, Leo. All right, let's go into the play drop down menu. Um, it's just giving you the options as to giving you the choice as to play from any specific part of the arrangement or the bar you want to. Um, repeat all, repeat page, repeat off, fade out. You've got the mixer here. Click on that. And it's giving you a mixer of the drums. So you can mute out or add in or raise up, kick, snare, hi-hat, 
ride extracts, cymbal crash, effects, uh, music style control mix. Let's have a look at that. Save actual mix as style custom mix. Yeah. Great. Accompaniment. Okay. I don't know what that is at the minute. Um, that's going to be involved in a little bit of a deep dive, which I haven't really got time for right now. Chord voicing. Mm, same thing. All right. So let's go into options. So you've got the pre count, which is good. Reference tones. Let's click on that. Okay, so it's giving you the option to um, repeat each string, let's say. Yeah, so that's like a tuner within itself. Okay. Um, A440 shift, I do not know what that is. I can't tell you. I really can't tell at this point. But. It has its uses, or else it wouldn't be on here. Okay, let's have a look here. Right, visual transpose. Show chords for transposing instrument. C, piano, guitar, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, chord audition, which you more or less can do here. So if, so if I click on this. If I pick another chord, let's just say. Click on that, it auditions it in the grid. So to go up here to do it is more or less long. Chord symbols, um, for those who don't read music, it's not really gonna apply to you. For those who do, it will. Um, output, okay, just gives you the option to change the MIDI output device and the MIDI channel used, okay. come out of that musical note visualizer right so it actually shows you the <laughs> so basically it's the on and off switch for whatever you want to see in the top right and corner so it's giving me the options here so right now it's a compact keyboard if I click on full piano keyboard opens that up split keyboard split notes Note octave matrix. So what's the difference between, hold on, oh. Okay. So the only difference is, is that it is bolder. The text is bolder. Okay. So that shows you that it's, um, it's an octave higher. Right, okay. Uh, musical note visualizer options. Indicate middle C on piano keyboard. Indicate visual transpose on piano keyboard. Split note visualization, highlight musical note symbols on. Right, okay, so that basically means, so when you go in here, look, these are more or less the splits. So if you choose to split this bar into beats, so there you go, so I'll right click it, split. Right click it, I could change the chord. Yep, I could change the chord in that. So let's make it a D. Okay, so let's play that. Right, let's just change the C to something else. Let's just change it to E. Okay. So let's play from beginning. Very David Bowie, I think you'll agree. Right, so if we go under here, there's a grid section here that I think enables a loop of some kind. So if this is activated and this is played, as I suspected, right. So let's just, um, let's just take the visualizer and put it back in the compact keyboard. Cause I don't know what these are. I know it's a C chord D, this might be a D flat, D sharp, E flat. I, I don't, I don't know at this point in time, but I don't want to basically rinse off my gray matter trying to figure that out when I can actually see what the chord is because I play the chords on the piano so I'm going to put it on compact keyboard. 
save myself the grief. Right, so okay. So here we have the loop section. So I can take that and stretch it as long or as short as I need to. Okay. Okay, so it's given me the option to run it at 16 bars or eight bars. So let's just keep it at eight bars. And let's have a look here. And yes, I can add more pages. Add another page and call that two. Right, so at this point, I need to deactivate the loop because it's just gonna keep playing the loop at this point and not go down the page sequence because I've got two pages in sequence. So let's just right click on that deactivate the loop and hopefully that should play both pages one and two right and it does that okay so just to kind of make it uniform because I'm a bit OCD when it comes to that let's just clear the third chord, all right, so right click, delete, and let's just play that again, just to make sure, okay, we don't have to play it again because both lengths are the same, as you can see. But just for my satisfaction, let's just play it again. <laughs> Okay, so basically that is how you can start to compose a song, compose a chord sequence or what have you. So let's go into the musical styles you can utilize in this plugin. And before I go any further, what I'm going to do, I am going to, um, I'm gonna load in a preset that I made earlier. I'm going to open and I'm going to look in desktop. And I'm going to look into the chord pulses, which I've created earlier. And a preset project name plugin of the week. Open that up. And there it is. It's open right here. Okay, so this is in the same simple way style at 120 BPM. But this is the chord progression this time around. Here we go. Okay, so you, you more or less get a vibe as to what simple way musical style sounds like. So if we click on this section here, it's going to give me a drop down menu and it's, it's going to give me more or less 100, I think it's 153 different playing styles. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's all categorized into pop, rock, jazz and blues, synth, country, world extra and training all right so i've just more or less left it in all just to kind of quickly go through some of the presets for you now i did try the reggae presets in fact let me give you this as a disclaimer before we go any further this plugin is not trying to compose your track to a somewhat finished product this is not what this plugin is trying to do what this plugin is trying to do is trying to give you a, a relative groove to work your chord progressions on because easy keys can give you the chord progressions and it can give you the styles of play depending on the expansions that you use whether it be neo soul whether it be gospel whether it be jazz okay now this kind of does the same thing although somewhat limited more limited than easy keys but what this plugin application does it actually gives you a groove on top this plugin is not professing to be the only plugin you need to create the song in its finished entirety it's just giving you a sketch pad it calls itself a sketch pad for that very same reason it's just an idea building 
application plugin to use so you can implement it in your door just so that you can have a ready custom made demo to cut the workflow even more when you import your MIDI files which this does into your door basically all right with that being said let's go into the styles so now I'm going to select a few playing styles within the application to show you exactly what kind of vibe you're gonna get from them based on this chord progression that you hear as follows. All right, so let's do it. Don't laugh. Okay, let me just stop right there. Now, for those who are regular viewers of my channel, they would have seen a video that I done about um, Easy Bass and um, and their reggae um, presets just being below par. Now, with this plugin, at least I can see they're trying something. All right. I'm not going to use, you know, that B line note for note. It's just not what reggae is. Is is a feel like I said, but it's something. You know what I'm saying? It's something. It's something that I can perceive as reggae to begin with. That person or that developer's idea of what reggae is, which which is more than can be said for tune tracks, easy bass. I'm sorry, but I still stand by that judgment. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Now, the unique thing about this is that whatever musical style is being selected, it actually pushes the tempo up and down to kind of match the general ballpark, sweet spot BPM that that genre is capturing. I have not seen that in much plugins at all. That, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much it for the chord pulse. So next up, I want to give you a slimmed down version of the Chord Pulse application plugin, call it what you will. And it is called Four Chord Songs, which basically works off the same principle. Um, you've got the same um, controls here in regards to the styles, the BPM, the key, and the length of bars. But it's only giving you four bars, basically. All right. So it's not as extensive as the full chord pulse, but it's something that you could work on just as effectively, but not as extensively. All right. So the limitations are simply that the styles of playing, it's not a lot. 
Whereas the other one's got like around 153, I would imagine this has probably got like around a third, if not half as much. But they're usually around a third of the full um, preset tally, if you like. All right, so let's come out of that. And the section here, you've got the volume section and the tempo section and the play button right there. And next up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, we have the PC9 Virtual Metronome. Let me just center this. I don't think you want to see my face and get distracted. <laughs> so basically, the interface is as follows. All right. So you have more or less the grid here. Um, and this signifies every beat in the bar. And it goes from four to nine all right so let's just bring it back to four let's go to the top left hand corner okay so show beat numbers white mode dark mode all right which is cool right so let's go into it again hot keys specs about more about basically just going to their website and it gives you all the information you need but you know what a metronome is you know what a metronome does right so you don't need to go into the website to basically do that. Or if you do, it's there. All right, so here is the tone. And the tone is specified by what you see on the bottom left hand corner. So it's a hi-hat tone. In fact, before we even do that, let's go into the tap section, which is um, pretty interesting. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to set out a tempo of my own, I could just literally tap Tap four beats or eight beats or 12 beats. And once I'm happy with a BPM or a tempo, I'll leave it as it is and then just press play. Right, so if I want to change the tone of that, I can do so. I'm going to let it play and cycle through all the different tones it has in the plugin. And that's pretty much it. And you have the tempo level there and the volume level there. That's pretty much it. The PC9 virtual metronome. And finally, we have the PC73 Virtual Piano Keyboard, which does exactly what it says on the tin. It's a virtual piano keyboard. You've seen lots of them about the place, and this one is no different. But you can see by the appearance on the top left-hand side in the display monitor right here that you have got presets available. Loads and loads and loads of them, all right? So if you have not got a MIDI keyboard and you simply want to play a vibe, you can do so with this. Personally, I don't have the need to use one of these, but there are people who can't afford MIDI controllers at this point in time, but would love to be able to play along to a vibe or to a metronome or to a chord sequence. Just get some more ideas down in that way. And for those who are financially challenged or don't really want to be carrying around too much equipment and you are more adept to using your laptop keyboard as a musical instrument, this is right up your street. I mean, never say never. For me, you know, I might be in a situation where I don't have a MIDI keyboard to hand and I just want to basically get a vibe down and I can utilize this bit of kit with my laptop in order to get the vibe that I need. So that's pretty much it, you know? It does what it says on the tin. Let's just play. Yeah, get some more presets. Let's have a look here. Let's see what we can use here. You know what? Close my eyes. Yeah, there it is, slap bass one. Yeah, so it does pretty much what it says on the tin. So that is the PC73 Virtual Piano Keyboard. 
So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, in summary, you have five plugins, one of which is paid, the other four are absolutely free. The paid plugin is of course, the Chord Pulse. The others are the Chord Pulse Lite, which is available, works on the same principle as Chord Pulse, but has limitations. Next up, you have four chord songs, which is available and works in the same principle as Chord Pulse, but has limitations. Then you have the PC9 metronome and also the PC73 keyboard, which are all available for free. So there you have it. If you are a budding songwriter and you are financially challenged at this moment in time, and you just wanna find a plugin that will cater for your needs, that will give you a groove on top of your chord progressions. I don't think you can go far wrong with Chord Pulse, honestly. And I'm still kind of kicking myself that I have not seen this plugin in the last 20 years. But I have now, and I'm more than happy to have shared it with you today. So it's with that, back to the studio. So there you have it, what I call the Chord Pulse bundle. Four plugins available for free, five plugins in total, one plugin being the light version of the paid plugin that makes up the five. I'm going to put all the links in the description box below. Have fun in composing the future classics of tomorrow. Full appreciation for your appreciation. So until we link up next time, people stay blessed, stay safe. I'm out of here. Magansky, laters.